Diana, it would be nice to make a pie for special occasions sometimes, but they just seem so difficult. They're not really, but there are a lot of steps. But what I have today is a few steps and a few ingredients where you can make a very nice dessert. So here's what we need for this easy cream cheese pie. You'll need a graham cracker crust, some whipped topping, the eight ounce, some cream cheese, eight ounce, a little bit of vanilla, and a little bit of sugar. We start with the cream cheese. I've let it set out this morning so that it's softened. That'll make it much easier to combine with the sugar and the vanilla. Now you could do this with a hand mixer, but if you have let it soften, it will be very, very quick. Next, I'm going to put in a third cup of sugar and a tablespoon of vanilla. I'll mix these with a fork until this sugar and the vanilla is combined into the cream cheese. This will take a few minutes. As you can see, it's pretty smooth. At that, at that point, I will add my Cool Whip, which has been thawed in the refrigerator. And you want to use the whole container. And then you just want to gently fold this together. You don't want to stir it like you did the cream cheese, sugar, and vanilla. You just kind of want to fold it. It'll be slightly lumpy, and that's okay. So we're just folding, making sure we don't have any big, huge glop of cream cheese mixture, but that it's kind of evenly distributed throughout the whipped cream. As you can see, it's lumpy. You're not going to be able to get those lumps out without destroying the, the whipped topping. So, don't worry about that. Make sure you scrape the bottom, like the hide underneath the whipped cream. So now we're ready to put this in the graham cracker crust. I'm taking out the plastic part, which I will wash because it'll make a nice top while it is in the refrigerator. And then all I have to do is fill my graham cracker crust. So our pie is finished and you can serve it just like this. Or what I'm going to do tonight is put some strawberries on top. Some fresh sliced strawberries, but you could use blackberries or raspberries or whatever fruit that you like. Now in the winter, when fresh fruit is harder to come by, in the baking aisle you have pie filling in cans. I've used that quite a few times. So you could have blueberry or blackberry or apple, whatever you like. Honestly, the sky's the limit and your imagination can tell you what you want to do with this and how you want to enjoy it.